How's it going, YouTube? Mark from Like Minded Lunatics coming at you with your Monday music matchup Halloween edition. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're joining me. Today, we're going to match up two creepy songs from TV shows to see which one we want to play at the beginning of our Halloween party to set the mood. Before we get to that, though, let me very quickly remind you we got a lot of content on this channel, and all October long, we're doing Halloween themed stuff. My writing partner, Todd Wright, does Drink, Play, Swear. You can go to that playlist right here. That's where Todd plays a video game and drinks an adult beverage while he's trying to tell you a story. You don't have to know anything about video games for it to be fun. And this month, all October long Halloween themed DPS episodes. I'm doing the Friday night videos and the music matchups. Again, Halloween themed. We're going to do a couple of like-minded lunatics try episodes. You can find that playlist right there. Halloween themed. And then I'm going to have my buddy Lottie on here for some more Lottie's Rocky Occasion. You can find those right there. Let's get to today's matchup though. How about it? I'm excited about this one. So I've got these two songs. They're both from TV shows and we're going to try to figure out which one we want to play to kick off our Halloween party. The first one is from Norma Tanega from 1966 off the album My, My Walking My Cat Named Dog. The song is You're Dead and it's the song that opens what we do in the shadows. They, uh, they used it in the film and then they're also using it in the series itself. And then the second song we're going to take a look at is uh, a song called Black Cat Bone by English group Leica, I think is how it's pronounced. This came out in 2000, and it was featured in the Buffy the Vampire Slayer episode Wrecked, season six, episode 10. For those of you familiar with the show, that's where Willow gets addicted to black magic with Rack, and she's basically tripping out, and she's spinning on the ceiling. This is the song they played there. Super creepy, super cool song. All right, so here we go. I think what I'm gonna do, though, is I think instead of starting chronologically, I'm gonna start with the one I heard first, which is Black cat bone this one and it's a little bit longer so we'll do a little bit more of that one and then we'll go over to norma tenega all right like a black cat bone do it stop it before the lyrics kick in, but can you imagine a more creepier song to use to open your party? Boy, that the, the beginning of that song is so creepy and so cool, and I love the sound effects they have playing, and they're, they're panning some of them. If you've got headphones, put headphones on, you can hear them pan. Uh, so great. All right, uh, the lead singer is, I want to make sure I get this right, uh, Margaret Fielder. So here she comes in with the lyrics. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm going to stop it right there because I want to make sure you understand the lyrics. They're so creepy. All right. Must have been the devil who changed my mind. Must have been the wind blowing, not me crying. Half the joy of leaving was the space I left behind. Now I'm back, angel-headed, hollow-eyed. Placed myself at the eye of the storm. Just didn't see the signpost to scorn. The blue sky wrinkled through my tears. Then darkness grounded all my fears. I gave him my sugar. He switched it for salt. Should have seen him coming, and that's always my fault. Whoa. Some creepy witchy vibes on that, isn't it? Oh man, it's great. Alright, let's let her get to the chorus. Thank you. 
Wow, what do you think? What a great tune, right? We're about halfway through that one. So let's sh let's shift over to Norma Tanega. Now, Norma Tanega was a, uh, and she passed away here recently, I think 2018, she was in her 80s, I believe. Uh, she was a singer-songwriter from California. She is from, uh, let's see, was it Filipino and Panamanian descent, but born and raised in California, folk singer, uh, and she sang for mental patients and for camp camp children, like she just played all over. Um, this is from the, from the album, Walkin' My Cat Named Dog, You're Dead. All right, Norma. Whoops, oh my God. Oh my God, everything just falls to pieces here. Let's back it up, I wanna make sure we get to the very beginning of this thing. All right, Norma, do it. Don't sing if you want to live long. They have no use for your song You're dead, you're dead, you're dead You're dead and out of this world You'll never get a second chance Plan all your moves in advance Stay dead, stay dead, stay dead Stay dead and out of this world Run fast, don't stand in the sun there's too much work to be done You're down, you're down, you're down You're down and out of this world What do you think so far, folks? That's a proper creepy song, too. There's just something about the matter-of-fact way that she sings You're dead, you're dead, you're dead and out of this world so creepy just because it's so matter of fact. I don't know where I'm at because I'm loving both of these songs. Again, what do you think? Folks are coming into your Halloween party. You want to set the mood? Are you going to go with Norma Tanega? Are you going to go with Like a Black Cat Bone? Let's head back over here and uh, finish this one. Lady, lady. Now back it up. loving this song, folks, and I know it's kind of hard to hear uh, her sing some of the lyrics, so I'll read it out to you again. Let's see. Uh, uh, in a devil's in a red devil's dress, I was wed. Bitch's baby round lady came to me in a dream. Then lightning struck and thunder roared, and nothing was as it seemed. A two-headed doctor walked on the water and buried a lemon outside my door. He turned and laughed, threw up his hands when I asked him what it was for. He sang, ships on the ocean, rocks in the sea. Blonde-headed woman made a fool out of me. Then everything went crazy. The water rose. I'm sorry, my shoes filled with blood. The water rose, the wind did howl, the river looked ready to flood. I left my man asleep to drown and ran back, looking back around. Ring the bells of mercy, send the sinner man home. The keys to the kingdom are lost and gone, and I'm left to die alone. All these girls grow old now, all that long hair in the grave. What's done is done. It's far too late to be saved. And again, for those of you who are Buffy fans, this is a great episode. Willow is, by this point, just just ODing on black magic, and she's spinning on the ceiling as this song is playing. It's creepy. <laughs> Now, 
Now, what I like about this one, I got hair in my mouth. What I like about this one is that I don't know what's happening, but there's clearly a narrative here. And I don't know if it's a clear narrative. I don't know if these are little vignettes that take place at different times. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a chronological narrative, but there's a narrative there and I don't know what's happening. And I love it because it's so, so mysterious. All right, let's go back over here to Norma Tanega. <laughs> Never talk with your eyes Be sure that you compromise You're dead, you're dead, you're dead You're dead and out of this world Hear the unloved weeping like rain Guard your sleep from the sound of their pain Long gone, long gone, long gone, long gone and out of this world When you smile and it tears your face It's time for the inhuman race You're down, you're down, you're down You're down and out of this world so hard for me to hear this song without thinking of what we do in the shadows. Isn't it you if you're a fan of that show? All I can hear is Laszlo, bat, human form. <laughs> Stay dead, stay dead, you're dead and out of this world Well, that's the end of that one. That's the end of You're Dead by Norma Tanega. Let's let Laika finish up Black Cat Bone. Imagine somebody walking towards you with this song in the back, like it's the, you know, the soundtrack to them walking towards you. Ooh, it's creepy and sexy, a little bit dangerous. Oh, I love this song. and all that stuff in the background, that cacophony is so creepy. <laughs> Wow, you guys, I don't know, where are you at? I, these are both fan, oh, sorry, like we're not gonna do you again. These are both fantastic songs. I don't know where I'm at. So again, here's the scenario. We've got a Halloween party. We wanna open it up and the song needs to set the mood, set the tone. Where are you going? You going with Norma Tanega? You going with Laika? I don't know, boy, that's a toughie, isn't it? You know, I feel like this one, that, that Norma Tanega's, even though it's not trying to be creepy, it's creepier because it's not trying to be creepy. This one I feel like is just really funky and sexy and a little bit dangerous. I don't know though. I think I might go with Norma Tanega first, but it would be a very, very close toss up. If I did this tomorrow, I might go with Laika. I don't know, but I think I'm gonna go with Norma Tanega right now, today, but let me know in the comments what you think. These are both two fantastic songs. What are your experiences with them? What would you go with if you had a Halloween party and you wanted to set the mood? You go in Norma Tanega, you go in Laika. Let me know in the comments, folks. Hope you enjoyed this one. Remember, all month long, all October, all Halloween here on LML. Uh, so take care of yourselves. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Hey, hit the subscribe button. You'd be doing us a big, big favor. And take care of yourselves, folks. And with my floating Halloween mug, uh, take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon.